How would our world look without mechanized brain power? Integrated circuits and electric components have depended on copper since the beginning of the electrical age. As we have moved from large components to small chips, the trick of making ICs was developed. So the integrated circuits are made using a, a silicon wafer like this. They start with a silicon wafer like this and then start making the transistors and resistors and capacitor component in this wafer. But these days, people figure out how to deposit copper, how to remove copper, and also by uh, do, using some special material like tantalum nitrate, people could prevent copper moving all over the place. So copper is much more common nowadays in very high density integrated circuits. The four major electrical applications of copper touch every part of our lives. New high efficient motors and green technology depend even more on copper. It would be hard to imagine our world today without it. While silver and aluminum can act as good conductors, copper is by far the most prolific material for electrical purposes. And if we learn about how it got here, from mountain to fine particles, to slurry, to cathode, to wire, and then to the device, we really begin to appreciate things. With materials engineering and metallurgy, we continue to stretch what we can do with copper. Let's see what the future brings.